Artists and art connoisseurs alike wandered the streets of downtown Billings last night for the 25th annual Billings Art Walk. Q2's Mitch Laggy was there and shares the story of the art walk and the people that keep the artistic brush strokes flowing. Uh, Art Walk is probably one of the best community events in Billings, particularly for downtown. It's a time for everybody to come out and enjoy artwork and music and uh, just the great creative community we have here in Billings. We believe in it. We believe it's the right thing for Billings to be focused on the creative community. And I think it's the creative community is working hard to help Billings continue to develop their identity. For 25 years, the Billings Art Walk has been bringing culture and vibrance to the streets of downtown Billings. The walk offers local and national artists like watercolor painter Janelle De Bray a chance to show and sell their work. The Billions Community for Art um, is has just wrapped their arms around me and it's it's been great. I'm definitely in the right place for people that, that love and appreciate art and the community definitely lends itself to that. One time Art Walk participant, the Billings Public Library, pulled some pieces out of the archive to display, including a map added to by Yellowstone Kelly and a C.M. Russell painting that hasn't seen the light of day in 25 years. We thought about this art and how it really belongs to the public, it's for the public, and so we wanted everyone to be able to enjoy it. This is such an important part of Montana history and Billings history, so that's really special. Art and history often work together as one. The Western Heritage Center worked to marry those subjects in some new exhibits. On display, they have ledger drawings dating back to the late 1800s, done by Chief Plenty Coup, Chief Medicine Crow, and other Native American contemporaries. Many of them actually depict the 1880 trip, the Crow delegation trip to Washington, D.C. So we're seeing these men and their first interaction with the Capitol building, with trains. Uh, they visited the zoo in Washington, D.C. So of course, how do you describe an alligator to people who've never seen an alligator? And, and we have their drawings from that, and they're really great and creative. And we're always working to blend history with art with those organic, vital stories and creating a space where they can all live together. Art, history, stories, and community, all brought to Billings with the help of the Art Walk. So, with the walk celebrating 25 years, what keeps the event running strong? What I have found is that artists and, and gallery owners and downtown business people, that we all share a love of art and we all share a love of community. And those are the two things that I think sustain the event because it truly is a community and we work in concert to pull this off. In Billings, Mitch Laggy, MTN News. Thank you, Mitch. The Billings Art Walk is held six times per year. So if you miss the walk tonight, or keep an eye out for their next one scheduled, it's on June 7th.